If you guys ever get locked out, talk to the lock calmly. Communication is the key. For some installations, a system-wide lockdown is a highly utilized safety feature that enables the entire building to be locked down in case of an emergency. Lockdowns can be initiated in a number of different ways. Some of the most common kinds are by multi-swiping your credential. It could be by entering an address pin, by pushing as a physical lockdown button, and it even could be by pushing a button on your app. You might think that this sounds like kind of a daunting task, but with your ProDataKey app, it's really simple. You got this. From your app, click on System Events and then click that plus button to build a new rule. Name that rule to be something original, like lockdown on. Next, it's time to choose a time frame for when we will allow this lockdown to be initiated. Let's go ahead and leave that set at always. Next, we need to select a trigger. And I'm not talking about the type of triggers that upset you. No, no, no! I'm talking about the type of trigger that will cause this action to occur. For this example, let's say you want to initiate a lockdown by entering in a duress pin under one of our keypad readers. For that, select on duress. Then we need to select our action dropdown and choose lockdown on. For the source devices, go ahead and choose the doors that have a keypad reader installed at them. And then we need to add our target devices, which are the doors that will actually be locked down. You can go ahead and choose the same as the source devices, or you can go ahead and select another device and then go ahead and add in additional devices if you need to. If you wish to set a duration time frame for this lockdown, go ahead and enter that time frame right in the dwell box. And then you can go up, hit save on that, and your lockdown's created. See, I told you that wasn't very hard, but there is one step that we are forgetting. If you create a rule that enables a lockdown, you're also going to want to create a rule that disables that lockdown. That way, when everything's cleared and good to go, you can go ahead and shut this thing down. To do this, follow the exact same instructions that we just did, except this time on the action, choose lockdown off. And just like that, you have your lockdown program. Hopefully you'll never need it, but now you'll sleep soundly at night knowing that it's there in case you ever do. PDK is easy to use anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to watch the next video in this series for more how-to instructions. Oh look, a way out.